I'm Molly Tuttle, and in this lesson I'm going to be showing you one of my songs over the line and talking about bluegrass rhythm and flat picking tricks. Um, so this song I wrote with my friend Steve Poltz, and it's one of the more bluegrassy songs I've written. It starts off with a chromatic kind of bluesy lick and then goes into singing, and I usually, when I play it solo, I'll take a couple solos on it, um, but I thought it would be a good one just to talk about bluegrass vocabulary, maybe do a bit of technique, and um, talk about strumming as well. So the lick starts off, it's, um, I play it out of E, so I'm using a C shape. So this first part is kind of a chromatic part, and I'm doing little strums in between. So it's like a bass run that you might hear someone playing while they're playing rhythm or um, yeah I'm basically walking up to the third and then down from the second fret on the third string and strumming on the high strings in between. And then after that I go into a pretty standard sounding bluegrass guitar lick. And I remember that was really one of the first licks I ever learned on guitar when I was starting to improvise. Um, and it helps to have this kind of vocabulary of different runs. This to me sounds like a lick you might hear like Clarence White play. So I'm sliding up into this two finger shape here, sliding up my third finger from the, um, if I'm just pretending this fourth fret with the capo on is the zero, <laughs> sliding from the third fret to the fifth fret, going five, three, five, three, and then playing this flat third note. So that creates kind of a blues, blues sound that's very common in bluegrass. So I'm going fourth fret, open, and then back to the C. So we have... And this last lick, um, again, that's, I remember learning some similar formation of that lick when I was really young and just starting out playing um, fills and learning to improvise on bluegrass guitar. So it's... I'm hammering on on the second fret doing a pull off with my first finger. And again, we have that flat third. So all together, that like sounds like this. So doing, and then ending with the basically C chord equivalent of the G run. On the G chord, we have. If you listen to bluegrass, you've heard that a million times. So just playing that out of the C shape. So that's how I start the song, and then I go into a verse. So we have. I can't stop once the rubber hits the ground. my sleeping head and turns the mountains gold. So the basic strum that I'm using there is um, a boom chuck strum. And we go starting on the fifth string. I'm alternating fifth string strum, sixth string strum. And there's a few different ways to do this out of the C shape. I like to just move my third finger back and forth. like that is so the bass notes don't keep ringing over each other. I kind of, if you listen to the bass um, on a song like this, usually you'll hear the bass player kind of chopping off the notes. You don't just let them ring over each other. Um, so I like to match that on guitar. And you, what you want to do with the strumming part is create a really quick strum. So you don't 
hear all the strings. You're not raking across the strings, but rather kind of flicking your hand. Like I like to tell students that it's almost like you're flicking water off your hand and that makes the strings all kind of ring out together in one big chunk, which creates a really punchy sound that I like to go for. So if I'm keeping it at the same tempo and doing a slower strum, it's gonna sound like. So it's a subtle difference, but kind of an important one. And the other thing um, I think about is just not hitting all the strings. So I'm not going. Because that can really take up a lot of space, especially when I'm singing. Um, I don't really want the guitar to be um, just taking up all the space and it's harder to hear the vocal then, so. And then in between singing lines, um, I might play a run. That C run again. Or the other thing I like to do is an accent strum. So um, breaking away from the, just the all down picks, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, I'll add in an up strum to kind of emphasize a certain part of the song. And the most common pattern that I like to use for those is um, down, 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 up, down. So it's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So if I was playing it in the song, I can't stop once the rubber hits the road. hear how I was putting it when I wasn't singing so I'm not playing really loud accents over my vocals or at least trying not to um, but in between those lines you can really bring up the dynamics of the guitar playing <laughs>